Hi, everyone. I'm Merrill Reese, voice of the Philadelphia Eagles, and welcome to Old School All-22, a look back at an Eagles memory of a game or a play that I'm sure you remember. With me, of course, my friend Mike Quick. And Mike, even though it's the Eagles' bye week, next week they play the Dallas Cowboys. And I can still remember a play that occurred against the Cowboys at the link in 2006 mm -hmm. when T.O., Terrell Owens, came back as a Dallas Cowboy, but the game ended with the ball in the hands of Lito Shepard. It was one of these star-studded events. because I remember before the game, there were so many stars on the sideline. My son Steven even came to that game, and he never comes to the game just because it was the return of Terrell Owens. Big, big game, but Lito sealed the deal. Now well, let's go to the tape and check out this play. Down by seven with just under a minute to go in the game, the Cowboys were knocking on the door inside the Eagles' territory. On second down, Drew Bezzo drops back and looks to his tight end, Jason Witten, over the middle of the field. Witten is hoping to run one of his trademark option routes at the goal line, a route he has made a living off of throughout his career. But linebacker Jeremiah Trotter, a physical presence inside for Jim Johnson defense, refuses to let that happen. The Axeman disrupts the route, throwing the timing off between Bledsoe and Witten, and the ball floats into the waiting hands of Shepard, who takes it the distance to seal the victory. Mike, you talk about the Eagles' number one draft picks over the years, mm -hmm. and one that really did pan out. And he was a terrific player here throughout his career was Lito Shepard. And in that game, Merrill, against the Cowboys, he came up so big late in the game. And, and I can still remember the fans, how they would always sing that Boss Skaggs tune. Lito, you can sing, can't you? I can. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what did Lito Shepard and Harold Carmichael have in common? Lito Shepard and Harold Carmichael have in common probably the same thing that Brian Dawkins and Harold Carmichael, Lito Shepard, have in common. Range High School in Florida. Jacksonville, Jacksonville. Florida. In 2002, Andy Reid surprised a lot of people, and there was a lot of questioning in the media room yes. about the draft picks, that here the Eagles had fine corners in Bobby Taylor and Troy Vincent, and yet he expended the first three draft picks on defensive backs. He drafted Lito Shepard, Michael Lewis, right. Sheldon Brown, but it turned out to be a very, very wise decision. When you're in the position that Andy Reid was in and all coaches, you have to have that foresight. And in this league, you're not going to go very far if you don't have good cornerback play. An outstanding job of drafting those corners and then coaching these guys up because they both ended up being really special players for the Philadelphia Eagles. 